everyone, I am Danielle from the Snapit team and today I'm going to do a quick walkthrough with you guys on Snapit's biggest AI FX update yet. So let's get into it. If you've used Snapit previously, you will know we started with a growing library of filters like the Pirate filter, the 80s Neon One, Fairy, Royalty and so on. But even though those were really fun, they were very limited as well. So that is why we introduced custom filters. So custom filters give you more control and creativity. Features like face swap let you upload an image and automatically place your guests into the scene. While custom text prompts open up a world of unique filter possibilities. Since then, the world of AI has been evolving and fast, but so have we. Our developers have been working really hard behind the scenes to bring you a smarter, more powerful AI FX experience. And now here it is. The latest update takes everything to the next level. Sharper, more consistent output with even more control, fully customizable filters that match your event down to the detail, and the game changers, group AI and persona FX. So there is a lot to unpack, so let's get started. Let me introduce you first to the 10 new filters. As you can see, we have custom prompts real and styled, face swap 2.0, selective swap real styled, group AI real and styled, persona FX real and styled, and persona FX pro real. 2.0 has been designed to improve the overall quality and the likeliness of the photo. We have added NSFW detection, added additional poses, backgrounds, style reference images, and so much more. Let me show you guys what it looks like. So first up, if you have not enabled AIFX yet, you can do so by going to Event Details, Features, click on Edit, and then Enable AI. This option is not available. It means you have a pro event. AIFX only works on enterprise events. Now you can just click Save and Proceed. We'll scroll down to the AI FX section. You can see I already have a ton of filters there, so let's just ignore them. So what you're going to do is you will go to add AI filter, go to the new tab, and then you will see all the new filters that we've created. So now we're going to start with custom prompts. I'm only going to do real because stylized is, styled is basically the same. It's just real shows the real output and stylized is, stylized is more like cartoonish, animated and so on. Okay, so I've added my prompt. Go to edit. Then under each filter, you will see that this effect will use two credits. Every filter has a different amount that it uses. So please make sure to check that out. Perfect. So as you can, guys can see previously, we also had the custom prompt box and the negative prompt, but now we have a prompt type, which is separate genders or combined. Another cool thing is if you keep it on combined, let's say you have Let's say you create a prompt, but you only want to change one or two things from the male side and the female side. So let's say you add your additional prompt here. And then when you go to separate genders, you'll see it automatically copies it over. So then you can just change, add your additional prompt for him. Because you see there it says male and then this one is for her. Now you will see that we have four other options to choose from under the custom prompt section. Pose selection, background, and then style reference. So with the pose selection, you see we have six new poses. That is very fun. Let me show you some examples of what they would look like. So he has the new six pose option, original, three-fourth body, upper body, half body, head and shoulders, and random. So I just need you to remember this. If you're like me and you don't want AI to slim you down, then the original pose keeps the original body shape. Always remember that because the other filters, they will slim your subject down. As you can see, the captured image is of a girl with a fuller figure. The original pose did keep her figure as well. But as you can see, the three fourth and all the other ones, it did slim her down. 
and you can see with her face it's slimmed it down a little bit but not that much the random pose is really fun and exciting so it automatically generates a random pose for your guest next we have the background options so under the background option there are four options to choose from the from original generation which basically is just going to give you a gray background so actually let me show you you can see yeah this astronaut the prompt was just astronaut and then the background was from original generation so as you can see it just added a plain gray background for her over here you'll see it added just a plain gray background for him next we have the separate prompt so my custom prompt remains the same in astronaut the background click on separate prompt you can just add your prompt there as you can see she's in a luscious green forest and then this is also an example as you see there is the prompt and then there is the sample next we have the astronaut and then with the background custom image so custom image is just basically you can upload another image background. as you can see i just added the snappic logo so this is really good for branding and that's our new logo it's quite cool isn't it um, but as you can see it looks like she's just pasted on so just to know that these background removal options won't have like a shadow to show like the backdrop next we have star reference so i know you're probably all wondering but uh, danielle why do you guys have star reference and you have it under the background option well under the background option it only changes the background okay with the star reference tab it changes the subject and the background so let me show you guys an example so this is background only this is the star reference tab with the background and the subject but if you want the subject to only have the star reference you will still add separate prompts so for this prompt i said put a gray background and then under the star reference section i added the star reference so that it can change the subject next we have face swap 2.0 it automatically detects skin tone and hair color so for example if this is our source image this beautiful image of this african woman and I go to the booth and this is the source image. It will change the, my output to a lighter skin and blonde hair, like this lady over here. It will just change my hair to a blonder color and make my skin lighter. And vice versa, if your source image is of a lighter skin person and this beautiful African woman walks up to the booth and she takes a photo, it will change hair and her skin tone. Next, we have the selective swap. This is a really cool filter. So basically, you take your source image, you mask it, you add a prompt to say what the mask section needs to change to, and then you get your output. So let me show you guys how this works. First, you're gonna go to AI Add Filters. Then you're gonna go to Select a Swap. Edit. And then you're gonna upload your source image. Go to create mask, and as you can see, your source image is there. Then you have these tools that you can use. This paintbrush is just to mask the area you want to change. This is to remove it. This is undo, redo. This is to delete everything that you worked on. This is to upload a new image. This is just to zoom in and out. Okay, so for this example, I just wanted to change her dress and her fur coat. So with this mask, you need to be very precise. Just so that you know, you need to select a face and mask it. You can't just mask her dress and say make the dress white because then it will still keep the original of the source image. Okay, so let's get into it. So I'm just going to mask the section because I want to change her color and then change her outfit. So 
for her fingers I would prefer to go a little smaller just to be exact Okay, as you can see, I've masked uh, her shoes and her dress. And then in the prompt, you can just say, change her dress to blue and make her fur coat orange. And it will do that. Another cool thing is that if you don't add a prompt, but you do mask, as you can see, so let's the AI automatically just generated this for me. It saw, okay, it has a fur coat, it added the fur coat, and it added a white dress with black shoes. So, it's also just one thing to take note of. Another thing is with the selective swap real, even though, for example, this photo is of a real woman, the output will come out like this because it doesn't, it automatically detects the skin tone as well. You can use it for the selective swap style basically let me show you what that can look like so as you see the selective swap styled same you just have different texture makes it more animated next we have group ai so it's called custom prompt group real and custom prompt group styled so just two things i need you guys to take into consideration one the custom prompt group real and custom prompt group styled is the only two filters that you can use for groups. The other filters like the, the pre-made filters we have, the selector swap, the face swap, all, it is all still solely based on one person. The second thing to remember is that the group AI filters have a limit of five people per photo. So only a max of five people can join the group AI photo. These filters will cost you four credits and here is some samples of what they look like. On the dashboard, you will see the custom prompt group real and the custom prompt group styled. Basically the same as the custom prompt. You have a custom prompt box, negative prompt box, and that is it. You will also see, like I said, it takes four credits. So here's some examples of what it looks like and here's another example of what the styled looks like. Next we have Persona FX Real and Styled. So this is a very cool filter because you can now add user input and add it to your AI image. How exciting is that? So the client will walk up to the that you're gonna ask them questions like, what is your name? What is your lucky number? Then we're gonna add a prompt and it's gonna generate the image for us. So let me show you guys how this works. First go to add AI filter, persona FX real, and then click edit. So the first thing to note is that there are these little buttons over here. If these buttons are not here, that means you did not add a survey. So you'll need to go and add your survey, like what is your name, what is your lucky number, and then save. Then your survey questions will appear here. The prompt option on the Persona Fix is much better than the custom prompt for me personally. Then another thing that has been added is the output size. So now you can see you can add square, landscape, or portrait, but this is only for Persona FX. So you're probably thinking, but Danielle, how does the AI read the user input? Let me show you. So we're gonna add a prompt and say a woman wearing a green jersey with her name. Now we know that we asked the users what their name is. So you're gonna to go to what is your name, this little button over here, and add it. This is how the AI knows, okay, I need to take this input from the user and use it right here. So we're gonna say a woman in a rugby field wearing rugby jersey with her name and 
her lucky number boop, on the back of the jersey. Now, a cool thing with Persona FX is you can actually tell it what poses to do. So, now we're going to say, make sure she is looking over her shoulder. And then, you know, so that's so cool. So if I can actually give a prompt. So, as you will see, here we have a prompt that says, A collectible doll figure in a sealed toy blister package. The package has text at the top that reads, what is your name? So this, what is your name, is the button that we use. If you add the two brackets, it's not going to work. So remember, you need to use that button option. So it's going to say, what is your name? Her name's Emily. And then the subheader needs to be, what do you love? So over here, she said, loves dogs, coffee, and surfing. And as you can see, it added it on the sub. It added it as the subheading. Then inside the package are realistic mini accessories based on what do you love so that prompt dogs coffee surfing added these little accessories for her how cool is that next we have persona fx pro reel so this filter is the ultimate game changer because you can add reference images like a logo for a fully branded ai photo experience so as you guys can see the square portrait and landscape options are there let me guys show you guys we go to add ai filter go to persona fx and then you go to edit and then you see you need to upload your reference image but i've already done that for us so i'm just going to go there you will see this is my logo called glow house and then i've chosen landscape and then i added my prompt but as you can see in the prompt, there's no input fields. So you can also add input fields. But you're probably wondering, but Danielle, how is the AI going to know what to do with this logo? So in this prompt, you'll see I said, place the logo from the attached and center it above the, van the vanity mirrors. I also added into the prompt that it needs to be displayed on their shirts. Another cool thing is you can add survey input. So as you can see, I would say, please add her name to a purple name tag on their shirt. Okay, so add the logos, add the name tag, add the logo at the top, add the logo on the shirt. This is what the output would be. So as you can see right there, it has my name on the tag with the glow house logos at the top and at the bottom. Another cool thing we have realized is that with this reference image, you can only upload one reference image. But if your reference image has multiple elements, so let's say you have one photo, here is your logo, here is a slogan, and here is another photo. Basically, write a custom prompt, tell the AI what you want from this image. So you could say, use my logo on the back wall use the subheader on their shirts you need to just detail out what needs to be done and it can be done another thing to note as well is it does take six credits to use the persona fx filter and as you can see persona fx pro is really good for branding it is the ultimate filter for branded so all 10 filters are now live on the Snapic app. Please ensure you download the latest version, which is Snapic version 1.36, and then ensure you have an enterprise event as AI, as AIFX does not work on pro events. Also, if you are new to Snapic, please don't hesitate to contact our 24 7 support and ask them for a 14 day free trial. And that is it. If you guys have any questions or concerns, please go into the comment section below or contact our support team. Until next time, happy snapping.